then you are talking about what value you can add it to your consumers. So when we talk about entrepreneurship, number one, you are talking about what sort of value added you have. For example, when you go out for interview, you you cannot tell people say how good I am, but rather you have to show them how much value I can add to your team, how much benefit I can help you with. Okay. This is what Albert Einstein said. And to bonus add the value to people's life. Do you believe so? Look at the Apple, Steve Jobs. Look at the iPhone. The, the emergence of the iPhone can have a lot of people facilitate their communication. We put a lot of games, we put a lot of telecommunication devices into it. So today, more or less, the whole iPhone replaced everything. Am I correct? And now it become a highway where people do the business there. It become a what? A hub where people can meet for social media. So it really adds the value to our lives. Now we have a case study here. Can we uh, can, so you try before the case study? No? <laughs> it's okay. Alright. Anyway, this is a video about uh, we call acoustic devices. This young man, this young man has come up with a lot of devices to help to put every possible possibility into a, what we call the head pieces. And then when they, when they started this out, they come up with creativity and innovation. They think, hey, maybe we using the sound, we can recognize the voice, and then we put and then we put everything man, you know manipula, we put everything that can be manipulated on the devices. They start with nothing, they start with the idea, with the concept, then in the end, they get it done. They get it done. And then up in, if you want to look at it, we can use the Wi-Fi. Do you I wrote a Ronaldo, do you have a Wi-Fi here? For the YouTube? Do you have a you, can you connect with the Wi-Fi? The computer? Okay, but anyway, this is uh, if we can show it, it will be much helpful to show it about how they do it with the video. Okay, but let's let's uh, let's continue first. Now the next thing is, what kind of needs has always satisfied? I told you already, they have uh, helping a lot of people to satisfy their so-called impossible needs with these little devices. But uh, if you want, but, but we cannot put the video on here, but I think you can uh, go and search for the YouTube on your own. But if later we can find out, we can do it for you. There's a saying, someone is sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree long time ago. Who says so? Warren Buffett. Who's Warren Buffett? Who's Warren Buffett? Can anybody tell me who is a Warren Buffett? Joshua. I'm not familiar. Who? I'm not familiar for that. Oh, you don't know? Sure. Warren Buffett. Who, who's that? Okay. Do you have another microphone? Lorendo, can you help out? Sir, so he's uh, what's the second richest man just next to Bill Gates? After Mark Zuckerberg, they look for his business. That's right. He is a second richest man in the world. And right after Bill Gates. Who is he? He's an old man today. But he's wearing a single watch. He's, he's very rich because of his investment acumen. He knows how to pick up the good stock. And then he will try to grow the stock. So that he can be today, he is a more or less a majority shareholder of a very famous company like Coca-Cola, AIA. He's the one behind the scene. So what does that mean? When you see in the shade today, because of somebody has planted a tree long time ago, what is it? Somebody has done a lot of work, and people enjoy it. 
And then you have to have a good planning for it. It takes the time, and also it really takes the time and perseverance to carry out your dreams. There is a case study about Red Bulls. Have you heard about Red Bull case? A healthy drink, which is a, an is, is a, is a energy drink. Have you come across with it? They take the essence of the Chinese medicine. It is a French. They take the Chinese medicine and convert it into some energetic drink. And then they bread it up like what they call the Red Bull. Everyone, can I have some drink? Water, please. And then you get this is another story how they in the way and create something out of nothing. So what what is it telling you all this? It tells you we need the we need the passion and also we need the innovation and the sense of creativity to promote a startup. Life is not easy, but you need a lot of hard work to do this. Now I want to uh, I want to explain to you what is the difference between a marketer and entrepreneur. Marketer only know how to promote and how to channel the service to the end consumer. Entrepreneur is more than a marketer. Entrepreneur has to create something out of nothing. An entrepreneur has to take risk, and last but not least, they have to know how to control the risk. Then we ask you, why? Then how can we become successful if we want to carry out this strong sense of entrepreneurship? What are we looking for? The entrepreneurship. Video huh? slide. Is the video okay? Are you positive? Okay, can you try it now? Yes or no? Yes. Then go. Can you, can, can you turn the volume down? Okay, that sounds good. I'll see you in a bit. So you might not be able to hear that. But using Ori, I was able to have a call. And that's because Ori is a voice assistant brain that turns your finger into a smartphone. All from just a touch of the ear. But why? That's because the way in which we use our devices is changing. Changing from a world where we use screens and touch to one where we talk. Now, Ori uses bone conduction. And bone conduction has been used in many medical grade devices. We package it in a way that it sends vibrations through your finger directly into your ear so only you can hear. And that allows you to hear and talk through just your finger. Amen. And that's music. And thanks to bone conduction and the dual voice cancer microphone, you can hear and talk even in the loud places. So check this out. Or is perfectly private and discreet. Using it makes it feel just like a secret information. And Ori is more than just a neat gadget for taking and making calls, because behind it is powerful voice artificial intelligence. Our friend Siri, a Google Assistant, it puts them exactly where you need them. Think about all the different things that you can do. And one of my favorite, translation. All you can do is just motion upwards. You say, Ori, how do I say where are the burritos in Spanish? Donde están los burritos? Donde están los burritos? And just like burritos come in different flavors, Ori comes in three different colors. I guarantee you there's an Ori ring for every outfit and every occasion. And even better, Ori is splash proof too. Look guys, I know how popular you are. And that's why you have the Ori app. Because it helps you go throughout everything else. And there's four LED lights that tell you what kind of messages are coming. Come on. 
Let's hit the streets to see what people think of Oregon. and sharing the Oreo dream with the rest of the world. And with everything that's happened, I can't help but think of our inspiration. My dad. He also happens to be visually impaired. Ori doesn't just help the visually impaired access something they've had difficulty before, smartphones, but in turn, they have inspired us to use our devices in new natural screen-free ways. I really want our venture in darkness to power the screen-free revolution. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to back us today, because one day with Ori, you too can find your voice. So, this is a video how they created Ori. And then you can see what are the key successful factors they want to have it. Now we run another video on the bread pool. Do you have a red pool? No, okay, fine. Fine. No. Alright. Now I want to tell you, in order to run an enterprise, like a successful entrepreneur, I want to let people know how we run the company like us operating cycle. Now everybody knows that when we run an operation, when we run an operation, we need our heart and energy. But what sort of factors we should have in mind in order to run this cycle successfully as an entrepreneur? And also what are the personalities we, have, we do have as a en successful entrepreneur? Now let's look at this. In order to become a successful entrepreneur, can we pass the bike along, uh, GM? The microphone, another one, right? So, anybody need it and then pass it along. We want to say, hey, this is a risk loving person. Risk loving. Number one, he is willing to take risks. But number two, he has to be resourceful. I know that you are taking notes. Good. You have to be resourceful in a sense that whenever you need different types of help, you have the access to it. That's why today we have so many co-working co co space. Call v lab Okay? We work. Call Nest. What are they here for? They are providing you a place with different resources that you can have the access to. Is it necessary entrepreneur has to be cash rich? No, the others no. But you need some capital backup. Apart from having a capital backup, you have to have built in yourself, yourself a good sense of why do we need a system? Because we want to do things in an organized way. That's how we have a course call process management, production management. These are from the industrial engineering. They develop from IE. And the MB people take the benefit of learning this and convert it into the business language. They call operation and process management. From the process management, we talk about the MIS. What does that mean by the MIS? Management Information System. 
In order to improve the business process, we need the data. And today, we don't call it MIS. We call what? Big data. Because of the internet, everything now are stored on the cloud. And now today, everything is talking about big data. Before we have the big data, we're talking about the data mining. Why? Because we need supporting data to analyze the operation. How efficiently we have been doing, how effective we have been doing. So there's a course called MIS, Information System. So you can cover marketing, cover course accounting, cover future planning, whatever. And then, apart from this, apart from this, what LDA can we consider? Can anybody think, uh, I, want to be, I want to see people who are more proactive because I like to uh, become friends to those proactive students. Because in the future, maybe Unisilver and Unisilver Times and me and I would like to have you as my partners. What and what's the other area you should consider when you run the operation? What's your name? Sir Jules. Oh, Jules. Yes. Okay. Um, finance. Finance. Yes. Well, how can you define what you mean by finance? Sir, this is this is the part of the company where the where the operate, uh, where the money or the assets are carefully intact and recorded by the by the department. Okay. So as I told you, for every startup, we need the re monetary resources. We call capital backup. Yes. Sir. So when we need the capital backup, we know we need to know how to use the money, right? Yes. Okay. So he said, uh, we talk about the finance. And also the accounting. We need the money to mobilize our operation. We need to convert the monetary resources into workable asset, right? For example, when when we do the time startup, we bring in the money from Hong Kong. We hire an office. Okay, we rent an office. We employ the staff. We buy computers. We buy equipment. All the monetary monetary resources have been converted into workable asset. And then we have to, by means of the workable asset, we have to produce income and sales, right? So that's how we talk about the finance. We, do, we need to know how to pull the funding. Funding, this relates to what we call the funding process. For the funding process, we need to account for how we use our finances wisely and then we call that accounting and then what by means of this kind of monetary resources we have the operation nowadays it's more important to talk about logistics in, than in the past without the internet we don't talk about logistics that much but now because of internet which is so what? So handy and so efficient, people are talking about what? how to de do the delivery only. But in the past, people are more, so, more, are more focused on the retail shop or offices. But nowadays, they use the super highway to deliver their messages. And also, they, have, they can do their cash transaction or monetary transaction on the highway. So in the end, in the future, this is a very destructive technology. In, in the future, we may not even have the bank existing. Everything will be on mobile because of the super highway, which is so convenient. But the problem here in Philippines is the logistics. We are easily get trapped with the tra traffic congestion and we have so many outlying islands. How do we do the delivery of this? Now, that is a big problem to the e-commerce expert. Logistics. Apart from the logistics, we have to make people know 
What sort of branding we have? How good our products are? We call about marketing. Now the marketing becomes what? More complicated. In a sense that we talk about e-marketing, social media. Now we talk you know, that everything is new. It's like blue ocean. We talk in the past people talking about Facebook, now people talk about IT. Right? And then there's so many new apps coming into the stream. Then you have to learn a bit by and everything is changing every day. So in this case, you have to keep pace with what the new technology is. So when we talk about the marketing, it's not only traditional marketing. Traditional marketing, we talk about 4P. There's old stuff already. We're talking about what? Social media marketing. Is marketing important? Absolutely. But if there's no good quality product, marketing is not important. Now can you see, in order to run an operating cycle, to run an operation in smoothly, we have to consider so many factors. Apart from all this, what is it? What are the factors we should consider? Human resources. We call it HR and training. We have a good idea. In, in our Chinese saying, we have a two, two words which bear the same meaning. Two choi. We call it choi. Choi means that one is with the money, one is with the talent. In Chinese saying, we need two. Two choi to help to solve our business. Yang choi, human talent. Qin choi, the money capital. Okay, the financial capital. If you have the financial capital, you will not be successful without the human talent. So right now, people are talking how to develop human resources, how to get the good talent and the development. Today, you study from the university. So are you well equipped? The answer is no. Because when you are at the university, you are only learning academic subjects. You are not learning from the real practice. That's why you need to take the internship. That's why the cooperative program in university are so popular. Every big company likes to take, take what? Take, pick up those cooperative students. Any university who provide cooperative program is more than welcome than the others. That's why human resources at the early age of a startup has to be considered seriously. So, when we consider human resources, we're talking about not just an individual. We're talking about a group dynamics, leadership, empowerment. Now we talk. We have a, we have so many people talking about empowerment. How to empower your staff? How to create us? Still in the sense of creativity and sense of innovation. Okay. Anything else in your mind that? You think are very important to run an enterprise. Good. I I see more hands now. Very good. Good morning, What's your name? Milgrim. In in Milgrim. Milgrim. Okay. Uh, that uh, that that is we are that we are going to. The one Pakistan, that the place of the environment that they are going to go into. So we are talking about the demographics for the for the population of the, of the environment. Oh, you're talking about the demographic factors? Ah, when you talk about demographic factors, that is a part of the you're talking about the demographic factors of your workforce 
or than the one fifth of your client. Thank you, brother. Okay. Now, when we talk about the HR, why now? In, now we take the example between Hong Kong and Philippines. Hong Kong is going through a we call the aging population. In Philippines, we see so many young people. Everyone is about on average 24 years old. So now you have a very young workforce. So this this is your power engine of Filipino economy. But in Hong Kong nowadays, we're talking about retirement. We are talking about retirement and care business, medical tourism. Here you're talking about consumption because you have a very young population who can work up and make money and a feeling to spend. So that's why so many multinational companies are coming into Philippines. Okay, to set up the concern, to vote, to set up what they call the MNC in their in their consumption market. Okay, thank you. Uh, anything else? Yes. May I have your name, please? Sherry. Sherry. Oh, Sherry. I think it's, uh, the other one is scenes. About the scenes. Oh, the scenes. Sales. sales of your business. About, uh, a sales operation. Oh, okay. Tell me the difference between the sales and the marketing. Sales, sales is about uh, exchanging the product and uh, product and the to the customers, while the mar marketer is promoting is just promoting the product. Okay. Okay. She mentioned. Another aspect called sales. Sales management. She just said uh, sales management is different from marketing. How different is it? Can anybody elaborate? She, she just said, oh, changing the product or whatever. I mean, <laughs> You're sitting in front because it means you're, you're the forerunner. Come on, Ahmed. What's the thing? Okay, elaborate a little bit on the sales side. <laughs> no problem. Okay, so we talk about the marketing already. And now there's, you know, Sherry just mentioned the word of sales. So, why is sales important? And how does, how does it differentiate from marketing? I think, sir, the sales could really affect our business since we are in the field of business. Given the situation, sales make the... Uh, how will I address this? Sales makes the specific decision whether we have to abort the business or we, we should apply more strategic management regarding the conflict that affects our business. Mm -hmm. So, you think sales is more important than marketing? I think so, yes, because the sales also is the other, uh, other transmission of if the business is growing or is falling. Oh, okay. Marketing is a supporting function for sales. What does that mean? Marketing is to help people to know the product, to channel the product, to bring the product to the end consumer. But the transaction of sales is not completed. Unless what? Unless your consumer are willing to pay the money and sign the contract, then we call it sales. Okay? We are, what, what? So sales are very important. People have to do a lot. When people do marketing means, okay, let's have a campaign. Let's do a lot of posters. Let's do a lot of TV. They are the supportive role. But in the end, who is going to get to the to the goal? The sales. They have to when, they, when we talk about sales, we are talking about all the time closing. People, sales people like to talk, like to present, but they never close. Now this is a poor sales people. Sales people are the ones who are not only presenting you well, but they are 
they are, they are willing to close it on time. Close it means what? Cut the sales, and get the check from the customer, get the cash from the customer. Sales are very important. I remember, well, I remember at one time, uh, there's a case study. Did everybody remember, uh, remember the IBM PC, the laptop? It was about eight years ago, they were brought, brought out by Lenovo. You heard about Lenovo? Lenovo is a brand name from China, right? So, they, they acquired the IBM PC eight years ago. You know what happened? They do the rewrap of the sales operation in Asia. And they hire three clients, three people, from, a, from an institute called Senna Sales Institute. Senna Sales Institute what? To give them uh, company-wide training for the Asia operation. And I'm one of those. We have two other foreigners. They are the Americans. We run the sales training operation for the local. When they acquire IBM PC, they need to revamp their sales operation. So sales is very important in the sense that you have to boost up your, your monetary resources. Because without the sales coming in, you cannot do nothing. So look at the example. You, there's a big company, you heard about Ayala, right? So what do you know about Ayala? What do you know about, uh, about Ayala? What do you know about Ayala? Yes? Certain corporation in... Mm. Of corporation in here also more money uh, for the Spanish reason. Okay, yes, uh, from a Spanish reason, it is a big conglomerate, it's a big public listed property development company in the Philippines, right? Yes. They build up malls, they build up residence, they build up what? Commercial offices. Okay? But now you know what they do? They're not only doing the marketing on the TV or the sign posters, they are bringing their salespeople overseas to Dubai, to Hong Kong, to Shanghai, to what? To promote their sales effort, to bring in the dollars. Because they build up the residence. If no people buy, they're sitting there for nothing. So they need to convert this housing estate into monetary resources so as to make the what we call the profit. Right? Now, so sales is very important. What about the others? When we do the sales, we have to do the what we call nowadays the CRM. What is the CRM? We never heard about CRM when I, when I was studying my MBA. Never. Why? When we close the sales, we have to give a good service. We call customer relationship. Customer relationship here is become a discipline itself. It will encourage people to reorder, to do the reordering. Alright? And also, CRM today, it's being computerized to know different aspects of the customer behavior. Very important nowadays. We never heard about this when I was young. But today, yes. They say, well, who, who is going to do the sales follow-up? What sort of quality of the sales follow-up it is? Can we build up a relationship? You know, when you have a, in Chinese we say, when you have a relationship, you have a sales. And the law of American life to say, my product is such good, this good, and then this is so much you have to earn from it. This is something you have to pick out of it, so you better buy from me. Chinese way, no. Chinese way is what? Relationship comes first. Let's become friends. Let's build the trust. And then you tell me what it is all about. And then if I have so many choices that I can buy from, but because my relationship is good, and assuming your quality is also good, I will try to buy something from you. Now this is the CRM, and now more and more today, if you go to a modern training, now in the past we talk about a lot of functional skill. You know what happened? Last week when I was in Manila, I talked to a, a very good trainer at Alaba, and the trainer told me, he said, Danny, she's a lady who has been training for many years, 
Today we have to give a lot of training to the young people about culture adaptation. Culture. Culture is part of what? The CRM as well. Now there are so many aspects we have to consider in order to run a enterprise. But who what are the top management for? The top management is here. They want to build up a strategy. They formulate the strategy at the heart of the cycle. That is what we call the board of directors, the top operation here. They, when they look at different parts of the operating cycle, they have to manipulate the strategy. They have to adjust, formulate new strategy and implement the strategy. Nowadays, we encounter a lot of issues about execution. Execution. Now, I just mentioned to you about the new word called culture. Culture was never mentioned in our functional study of the MBA. Nowadays, yes. Because people are affected by culture. And not only this, talking about what? People have to push people to execute their tasks. People have a lot of idea, but they don't know how to execute fully. So these are the areas today I'd like to share with you. And these are the key factors of success when you run an enterprise. Now we are going to ask Rolando to assign some topics. Okay? You have formed a group already. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. Now is the time for Rolando to share about the different topic and then I will elaborate in the end. Okay? Thank you so much, sir. As I was 